you know, while there's lots of applications that allow us to use logarithms and exponential functions to solve real world questions, you know, the bottom line is we see lots of equations that involve logarithms and we've got to solve them. And personally, I think they're kind of fun because once you really understand what a logarithm is, then really you can solve any of these sort of scary at first looking equations. Let's take a look at a bunch of equations and have fun solving them. Okay, so here's the first one. Log base 4 of x minus 1 equals 3. How am I going to solve this? Well, I don't like the, the logarithm thing, and so what I could do is try to undo the logarithm by hitting it with the inverse function, which would be the exponential function 4 to the power of whatever. So let's basically take both of these and use them as the exponent I raise 4 to. So if I do that, I would see 4 to the log base 4 of x minus 1 equals 4 cubed. So you can see there is the original equation. I just took 4 and raised to these exponents. Well now 4 raised to the log base 4 of this, these log and exponents cancel, and so I'm just left with x minus 1 equals 4 cubed. And that's the power of using the exponential function to undo the log function. Now I've got the x where I want it. And so what's 4 cubed? Well, that's 64. And so what's x? If I add 1 to both sides, I see x equals 65. Once we see the secret, finding the value for x, piece of cake. Let's try another one. So the next one, log of 30x minus log 6 is equal to 4. What do we do here? Well, here I've got lots of logs running around. If you want to do any kind of funny trick using like raising things, to having exponents and putting 10 to a power or things of that sort, you've got to have just one log alone on a side. And so here I see log minus log. That's not good. So I better use some other properties of logs that I know. In particular, I can use the property that says the log of something minus log of something else is the same thing as log of the quotient of those two things. So I could write this as log of 30x divided by 6 equals 4. Why is that? Because the property that says log of a quotient is the difference of the logs. And that's what I have here. Now actually I can simplify this a little bit and I can see log of just 5x equals 4. And that's an invisible log, which means I have a base 10 invisible. And so let me just exponentiate with a base 10, both sides. Well, now the 10 and this log cancel each other out because they're inverse functions. And I'm left with just 5x equals 10 to the fourth. We divide both sides by 5. I see x equals 10 to the fourth divided by 5, which equals 2,000. So again, not so bad once we embrace all the techniques and identities involving, involving, involving logs. How about this one? Log base 3 of x squared equals 8. Now there are lots of ways of doing this. I want to show you what I think is the easiest way. The easiest way is to realize that that 2 exponent can be brought out in front of the log by the famous property of exponents inside of logarithms. If I were to do that, then I would see 2 log base 3 of x equals 8. If I divide both sides by 2, I see log base 3 of x equals 4. And look what I've done. I've taken a question that initially might have looked like a quadratic something and I turned it into something that has no quadraticness at all. Now I can just um, use 3 as the base and put these things as the exponents. And then I could see that, in fact, 3 raised to the log base 3. Well, these are inverse functions, so I'm just left with x equals 3 to the fourth, which equals 81. And there's the answer. Very, 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 very cool. All right, let's keep going. You can't stop these things. You can't stop it. It's a log roll. It's a log roll, and we are on a roll. All right, log x plus log of x plus 3 equals 1. 
Again, I want one logarithm on one side. I see the sum of logs, which means by one of the famous properties we saw earlier, that's actually the log of a product. So I can write this as log of x times x plus 3 equals 1. And now if I exponentiate with 10 as the base, then this invisible 10 in the log together with this exponential 10, we see that in fact these are inverse functions. And so in fact I'm just left with x times x plus 3 equals 10 to the first, which is just 10. Now how do you solve this? Well, if you distribute that x, we see a quadratic. And how do you solve quadratics? Well, I solve them by bringing everything over to one side and having this equal 0. So I'll subtract 10 from both sides. And I'm going to try to factor. So x, x, I put a minus sign here and a plus sign here. If I put a 2 here and a 5 here, we can check x times x is x squared. The outside terms are 5x, inside terms negative 2x, so that's a 3x, and then negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. This looks good. If I solve each of these separately, I see that I'm going to get two possible answers. Either this equals 0, which means x equals 2, or this equals 0, which means x equals negative 5. Now, therefore the two answers were done. No. When you have logarithms in an equation and you get answers, you must always take those answers, plug them back into the original equation, and make sure that all is well with the world. Let's see if we're OK. When I let x equal 2, what happens? I put a 2 in here, and I get log of 2 plus log of 5. Well, log of 2 plus log of 5, I know that's the same thing as log of 2 times 5 or log 10, and log 10 means log base 10 of 10, which is 1. So that checks. So this is good. We like this. What about negative 5? We put a negative 5 here, and we have log of negative 5 plus 3. That's log of negative 2. Now wait a minute. We know the domain for the log function are all the positive x values. We can't plug in a negative number. There is no exponent to raise 10 to in order to make it negative. So in fact, this is an extraneous solution. And so in fact, this actually is not a solution. And we only have the solution x equals 2. See how important it is to check your answer? It is really, really important. So check your answer. All right. <laughs>